Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Yesterday I said that I was going to deal with the ISP today and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know a whole lot about network stuff, admittedly. I really don't. That's not my forte at all. But I've been reading and trying to figure out what I could and um, there's you know a few things they said to test. One was to run a trace route and I've ran that on uh, Mac and Windows, wired and wireless to different sites and it looks like, from what I can gather, that we're getting a lot of packet loss. That our issue may not be speed, that the you know the speed is actually staying consistent. It's that we're getting terrible packet loss, and that might be where the problem is coming from. I don't know. That's not my job. It's not my job to know that. My job is to know how to click the buttons and make the videos come out. But uh, I'm hoping that we can get things solved because I, I called the ISP today and uh, they said that, you know, they asked some questions, questions that I could very quickly answer. Um, I used words like packet loss, which I'm assuming gets me, you know, some, some bonus points of, oh, okay, we won't make you unplug and replug in the modem. And uh, they said that they would have someone out today. And that's unusual to me. It's three o'clock. Like, are they seriously going to send someone out today? They said that I would get a call from, a, from like, the out team and that there would be someone out today. And I was like, okay. You know, I trust that that's the case. Um, also, you're probably like, oh, you shaved. I did. I did. I did. I still have the mustache, although I won't have it for long. Uh, I mostly have it as a joke. Last night, Mal uh, more or less dared me to shave off this down here. And I was getting really tired of it. My, my issue is I, I can't stop playing with it. Like, I never touch my face when I'm clean-shaven. I just never touch it. But when I have facial hair, I just, I just play with it so much. I just can't stop. And uh, Mal said she was, she was basically done with it. She was like, you know, you, you could shave it. And I was like, all right, I'll shave it. She says, I dare you to shave it. I said, all right, I will. So I did. Um, so last night before I got a shower, I, uh, I shaved it off, and now it's just a mustache. I'm going to be honest, the mustache is mostly, you can see how far I left it. It actually curls down at the end. I mostly wanted to keep this so there could at least be some vlog footage of me with a mustache. Um, I think it, it's, <laughs> it's not becoming, um, and I'm really ready to go back to clean shaven. So clean shaven, here I come. There we go. Back to normal. The one thing that uh, I, I gotta say about having the beard is that um, it really made my face break out more than it would have normally, and I think there's two reasons for that. One, I think the hair trapped the oil a little bit on my skin um, when it hadn't done that before. Uh, usually throughout the day I'll, I'll just wipe my face off just with, you know, like a paper towel or something. It keeps my oil, the oil on my face low because I have a lot of oil. I, I have. I guess my skin will be in good shape for a long time. Like I won't have, I guess, wrinkles or something. The flip side of that is that I, I produce a lot of oil on my skin, and I normally just like wipe it off with a paper towel or something throughout the day. But it's harder to do whenever you have facial hair. Um, and then the other, the other side of that is that I, I played with the facial hair, and I think that was, you know, putting, you know, the the oils and the dirt and stuff on my fingers back onto my face, which probably didn't help. So, um, yeah, I have, I've had all these, you know, blemishes and stuff under the hair, um, but now that I've gotten rid of the hair, I think they'll probably clear up a little bit, which is, uh, which will be nice. It's weird to see myself like this again. It's been how many weeks now since the beginning of November? Like yeah. six-ish? Yeah. Is it nice to see me this way yeah, again? Yeah, you look normal. I look normal? Yeah. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. I think it was fun, especially for the fact that, you know, for so many years, I had, I've talked about the fact that I, you know, I couldn't do it. Um, and I think it was nice for longtime viewers, especially, to see it, but I'm glad it's over. And, and hey, it's not like it's gone forever. I can, I can always grow more facial hair. So maybe it's something we'll do at some point again in the future. But for now, back to regular Steven. So the internet guy uh, just came and uh, looked at you know, things and said that everything looks fine. Um, he, but he was testing for like the internet, like the node for the neighborhood and said something looks weird with that. And he thinks it's not anything to do with here, it's to do with the neighborhood. And that they're gonna have their mainline guys come out and 
look at it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's just, you know, do it. Um, because I need this to do <laughs> to work. Um, and he was like, it looks like you maxed out your, your upload speed like last night. I was looking at your whatever. And I was like, yeah, I, I max it out like all the time. This is literally all I do is upload stuff. So I'm uploading like, you know, hundreds, if not a thousand gigs, you know, of data every month. I says, that's, that's normal. That's, you know, that's all I do. But it sounds like it's just a neighborhood issue and they're going to fix it. So hopefully they fix it, and hopefully they fix it soon. Um, it makes sense that I would be the one to know this a problem for everybody, and no one else would, because even though the speeds are inconsistent, they are consistent enough for most people. Like If you're using Facebook or Netflix or whatever, you're probably not going to notice this. Um, but if you're doing what I do, where you are used to how long it should take to upload a video, and suddenly it's a lot longer, then it becomes a problem. Or in our case of doing Twitch streaming, where things cut in and out, you know, all the time. So that's where I'm at. Shrug. You know, I, I wish it was something that was isolated to here where they could just say, oh, look, you know, th th here's your problem. There's a beaver in your cable. Let's just remove that beaver and everything will be fine. But uh, it doesn't seem like that's the issue, so... Don't know when they'll have the mainline guys out. Probably not today because it's already like five, but um, hopefully tomorrow. I don't know. And and I'm going to obviously keep an eye on it because it's literally all I do. It's my life. It's my job. Um, and if it doesn't improve within you know a few days, I'm going to be calling them back and be like, it's not better. <laughs> you, you have to fix this. If you don't fix it, then your service is is useless to me. One one good thing about where we live is that there's at least competition. Um, we have multiple ISPs. I know there's lots of places in the U.S. where you have one option. We have multiple options. It's just that, in my opinion, the, our current option is the best option because we have a local ISP. A lot of people don't have that. We do have Spectrum and Frontier and Charter and someone else. Like, we do have those companies here also, but we also have our local ISP, which is what we use. That's what I would prefer to use. Um, but, you know, if they can't fix the problem, then I'm going to find someone who can. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that they get this solved quickly. Um, I don't dislike the company. You know, I, I like the company, so I, I feel like they will, you know, fix it fast, hopefully, but um, until then I'll just, you know, deal with it and uh, hope that the, the fix comes fast, basically. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?